गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू अन अकेडमी कैट लाइव डेली येस आई हरप्रीत मैम आई एम हियर विद अनदर लेसन ऑन वर्बल एबिलिटी गाइज सो जस्ट वेटिंग फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू टू ज्वाइन इन एज फास्ट एज पॉसिबल येस आई एम जस्ट वेटिंग फॉर ऑल माई स्टूडेंट्स गाइज टू ज्वाइन इन एज फास्ट एज पॉसिबल Yes guys can you all hear me is my voice clear to you Yes good morning shitej how are you doing this morning Yes raja babu good morning how are you guys doing this morning Yes Okay so we are doing a class today on verbal ability guys we are doing a class on one word substitute so what is the word that will fit here is what we are going to write here hi somya deep how are you yes are you able to hear me guys yes can you hear me Yes okay guys so let's get into the lesson uh we are going to do what is known as verbal ability one word substitute is the question type here right yes so let me finish with the formalities my name is harpreet kaur dhodi i've done my masters in english literature i have 16 years of teaching experience i have trained uh, students for the exams like the cat mat zat snap banking pgcet gre gmat sat act and toefl guys Yes uh the agenda today is to don do one word substitute and that is the lesson for today so download the telegram app live daily dot me slash chat and join the telegram chat guys and you will be a part of the group i also have a personal group which says harpreet ma'am an academy cat right guys so the cat subscription is the best in the industry you just have to pay 1458 for 12 months and 875 and 875 for 24 months guys and that's all that you have to pay right so if you use code 10 you will get a further 10% discount with code 10 yes so let's go into the lesson guys and we are going to do one word substitute today yes so each question contains a sentence with a blank choose the correct alternative from the options given to fill up the blank so can you give me the answers here as we go yes so the first question here on your screens guys yes you have to pick he did his mba from the indian school of business and institute known for its dash in teaching and training what will it be Yes Somya Deep correct so it is going to be known for its yes ashima all of you giving me correct answers here answer will be b b is the correct answer guys we are looking at excellence answer will be excellence uh there's some problem with my pen right guys so the answer will be excellence excellence is the correct answer and then we go to it cannot be illusion uh illusion is supposed to be a kind of a uh, false image it's a false opinion what does notorious mean no notorious means known for all the wrong reasons a person who is known for all the wrong wrong reasons is known as notorious Yes Shridesh I was just giving you notorious means known for all the wrong reasons right yes so you got that sorry yes and spontaneous means something which comes to you very easily is known as spontaneous fine 
Okay, let's go to the second question. Within a very short period, James gained dash in playing the guitar. Just like impish. No, no. Impish means being very naughty. Yes, impish is a different word, Shitij. Yes, impish is being very naughty, but we are talking about notorious. That means if a person is famous, then he is known for all the good reasons. But if he is notorious, he is known for all the wrong reasons. Yes. Within a very short period, James gained dash in playing the guitar. What would it be? Yes. What do you do with the guitar, guys? So, answer will be expertise. Yes, expertise is the answer. Right? Yes, <laughs> like Osama bin Laden. Yes, of course, you can say Osama bin Laden for that. Okay. Yes, so expertise is supposed to be, you know, any kind of knowledge in a particular field. So it is not experience, knowledge or intuition. What is an intuition? Intuition is a person's sixth sense. When you have an intuition, it is a person's sixth sense. But here we are talking about uh, being good at something. So, he gained expertise. So, the answer therefore is C, guys. C is the correct answer. Yes, Samyadeep. Yes, we can look at a quiz at the end of the class. Let me finish with this first. Yes, guys. Coming to question number three. In spite of the odds, he finished the project with great dash and competence. What would it be? Yes, this relating to real life examples really helps. Yes, so in spite of the odds, he finished the project with great dash and competence. What will the answer be? Yes, Shidij. Uh, Avinash is saying D. No, it is not. Uh, it has to be a word which is a synonym of competence. Right? It has to be a word which is a synonym of competence. So, what is the word that will fit, guys? Yes, what is the answer? D. It is not D, guys. Tenacious means being hardworking. So, author is not talking about tenacity. He is talking about... Sorry. Author is talking about pragmatism, B. Yes, Raja Babu, that's the correct answer. Pragmatism means being practical. A person who is very practical is known as pragmatic. So the answer is B and it is not D. Tenacity is an ability to bounce back. Even in the time of difficulty, if you are able to bounce back and do things the way you were, uh, you come back to your original position, that is known as tenacity. And uh, temerity means courage. The word temerity meaning courage. And reputation is what is what you are known for is your reputation. Right, guys? Yes. So, is that clear? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm having a problem with writing here today. Yes. Okay. So, you got the meanings. Can I give you the meanings? You can write down the meanings. Yes, coming to the next question is on your screens. The Taj Mahal, one of the wonders of the world, is known for its architectural beauty and dash. What will it be? Architectural beauty and Yes, Avinash, Shidij, all giving me correct answers. Raja Babu, Kritika is saying B. B. Uh, it can't be B, Kritika. It can be beauty and grandeur. Yes, Deep, it cannot be B. Grandiloquence means a person who talks in a very, very pompous fashion. So, while grand means big, L-O-C, L-O-Q means to talk. So, talking in a very, very, uh, what you call pompous fashion 
विल बी नोन एज ग्रैंडी लोकविन हाँ बड़ी बड़ी बातें करना यस सो ग्रैंडियोर इज सपोज टू बी समथिंग विच इज ऑफ अ हाई स्केल सो ब्यूटी एंड ग्रैंडियोर बिकॉज ताजमहल इज नोन फॉर इट्स ग्रैंडियोर इट्स नॉट अ सेंसेशन फॉर्टीट्यूड मीनिंग करेज राइट गाइज फॉर्टीट्यूड मीनिंग करेज ओके सो यू गॉट ऑल द मीनिंग्स गाइज I will show you got the meanings. Can I go to the next one? Yes. Going to question number five. He built a house far away on the island. On an island, he prefers to live in dash. What would the word be here? He prefers to live in. Look at the options, guys. Will it be propensity? Wow, it started writing. Seclusion, solemnity, gregarious. Which one? Ah, uh, not solemnity. Ah, uh, solemnity means being very serious. So it cannot be. It cannot fit. Gregarious is a person of person. Yes, a synonym of peace, peace and solemnity. Ah, uh, seriousness is. It's a very solemn occasion. If I say it's a very serious occasion, we say that. Gregarious means being very social, extrovert. Right. Now, answer is seclusion. Hi Achal, how are you? Good morning. Good to see you here. Yes, seclusion means living in isolation, living alone, and propensity is an inclination, or it is called a bias, being inclined towards something or somebody is known as an inclination or a bias. So the answer will be B, guys. Right? Okay. Let us go to the next one. Anita Desai is a dash writer of Indian English. What kind of writer is she? Yes, very good, Somya Deep, Avina, Shridij, all giving me correct answers. So she is renowned. renowned will be the answer renowned means somebody who is very famous well known right yes now surreptitious means doing something un, in under the sly being very sly is called surreptitious flexible is something which can bend and callous means being cruel a person who is cruel is callous right guys so answer therefore will be d d is the answer okay let's go to the next question the schools were closed for few two days due to dash rain what rain can you call it yes what will be the answer guys to this one ah uh, Sly means doing things in an underhand way, Raja. Not being open about it. Yes. Correct, guys. So incessant. Answer will be incessant. Incessant is like raining continuously. Yes. Correct, guys. Now look at the word oblivious. oblivious means a person who is completely unaware and what does incessant mean incessant means raining continuously incessant is continuous rain right so when it keeps raining non stop it is known as incessant intermittent is sporadic so it rains by fits and starts it is known as sporadic rain redundant is unnecessary and oblivious is unaware 
right guys yes very good achal why should you not learn yes all of them are going to help you to learn right so answer here guys is a a will be the answer because it means incessant right seventh one answer is a are you fine with that okay let us go to the next question the teacher dash krishna for not completing his project on time yes what will be the answer guys the teacher dash krishna for not completing his project on time what do you think is the answer a b c d yes shridij very good ashima i am getting a whole lot of correct answers here raja babu very good achal yes admonished the word admonish means to scold somebody yes repudiate the word repudiate will mean to deny and prohibit is to ban enamored is to be captivated or attracted repudiate is to deny yes or to turn down to turn down someone is to repudiate right guys so answer is c here c is the answer going to the next question she sang so melodiously that her voice dash every one yes question number 9 guys come on she sang so melodiously that her voice dash every one yes avinash correct answer hi hi kushal ranjana how are you sakshi is saying b no guys the answer is a enchanted enchanted means to uh enrapture or to captivate yes bewildered is a person who is very shocked or confused so her voice cannot confuse anybody right yes repugnant is something you dislike something which is hateful same as it with disgusted disgusted is a strong dislike guys write down all the words in a book so that you can learn them before the examination yes shubham how are you Yes the government should strive to dash malnutrition among children living in the remotest village of India Yes what is the answer to 10 Correct Shridij uh it's not a problem to be resolved yes so you can mark resolve there yeah what will be the answer answer is c right combat combat means to fight so c is the answer resolve is used when you're trying to solve a problem or an issue you solve a problem or an issue you use the word resolve decipher is to decode something to understand something to decipher what is being said yes correct 
Unravel is to reveal, to expose. Right? So that's why here he is trying to say fight malnutrition among children in the remotest villages of India is what the author is trying to say. Right? So answer is 10 is C. Let's go to the next one. So a word followed by four definitions is given. Select the phrase that is most nearly opposite in meaning to the question, guys. So you have to give what is known as the opposite in the meaning here. Yes. Okay. Clichéd. Now what does clichéd mean, guys? You have to mark the opposite of clichéd. Yes, what will be the answer to cliched? Yes, can anybody give me the meaning of cliched? Correct, Avinash. Yes, Shridej. Yes, I am getting all correct answers. It is not D, guys. You have to give me the opposite of the word cliched. So, what does cliched mean? Answer is definitely C. Yes, the word cliched means something which is boring. Something which is boring is called cliched. Sorry. Cliched is boring or overused. Overused, Avinash. Yes, something which is very boring and overused. Like supposing um, you keep using the same, same proverb, like a thing of beauty is a joy forever. It is a statement which is not original anymore. It is boring. So an uncommon utterance, uh, utterance is the opposite of cliched. Making a sharp sound, said, done, used often, well-known or popular phrase, none of them is the meaning of a cliched. Cliched means something which is boring, monotonous, right? And the opposite of that will be an uncommon utterance and therefore this will be something which is original. Is that fine, guys? Yes, I'm going to go to the next question. Obligation. What does obligation mean? Yes, you have to find the opposite. Yes, Shidij, <laughs> your eyes remind me of your mother's eyes, correct. Is a cliched statement. Very good. Hi, Ajit, how are you doing? Yes, guys, what is the answer? Opposite of obligation. Correct, Soumya Deep, Shiddij, Achal, all giving me correct answers, guys. Answer will be, again, a compulsion imposed on somebody because an obligation is not a compulsion. An obligation is like, you know, uh, you feel that you are duty-bound towards somebody. This is the meaning. The meaning is this. The opposite is this. Yes, so you are obliged to... Listen to your parents. That is your obligation. But it's not a compulsion. Prerogative is supposed to be a right. Or a privilege. It is my prerogative to take classes. So it is my right or my privilege. A custom handed down by predecessors. Predecessors is your forefathers. So, it's not a custom that we are talking about. Therefore, the answer is C, guys. Are you fine with that? Okay, I'm going to go to the next lesson. Next one, pusillanimous. What does pusillanimous mean? Question number 13. Yes. Thank you. Yes, what do you think is the answer to pusillanimous? Opposite Soumya Deep. Uh, you are giving me the meaning. 
Correct. Now the answer is correct. Yes, having the courage to face life is the opposite because the meaning is, the synonym is being timid and afraid, right? And this is what is known as the antonym. Synonym is being timid and afraid. Antonym is this one, having the authority to uh, There is something wrong with the meaning of this word, so we will eliminate it. Being frugal. Frugal is not spending, being very stingy. Stingy is the word, guys, right? Yes, so the answer will be D. Pusillanimous is the word, having courage to face life. Okay, let's go to the next question, quandary. What does the quandary mean? Being in a state of quandary, what does it mean, guys? Yes, what is the meaning of quandary? Correct. Yes, Soumya Deep, answer is correct. So, quandary is actually the synonym will be a state of indecision. A is the is the synonym here? Answer is C. Yes. A firm and committed stand. Yes, Shizij. Uh, quandary means be, to be in a state of a dilemma. Like once you have graduated, you are not sure what is it that you want to become. You want to become an engineer or a doctor. So, a state of indecision A is supposed to be what is known as the synonym. A is the synonym, right? And C is the antonym. A small amount of something is not suggested, so therefore the answer will be C. C is the answer. Yes, what is the doubt? Yes, what is the doubt for you? Yes, what is the doubt? Tell me. Yes, guys, going to the next question, sinewy. What does sinewy mean? Yes, what does sinewy mean? Yes. Now, A is the synonym. You have to find the antonym, guys. So, sinewy means a person who is morally right, morally upright is the synonym. A is the synonym. What is the opposite? Having the courage to face life because sinewy means being very timid and afraid. Yes, yeah, so the opposite is D, right? Yes, guys. Okay, coming to sinewy, C, lacking scruples. Yes, C is the correct answer. Yes, that will be the opposite because sinewy is a person who is very tough, firm and resilient. A person who is resilient. Resilient, tough, R-E-S-I, tough and firm. So, A therefore is the synonym and lacking scruples. That means lacking any kind of morals is C. Okay? Yes, guys. Going to the next one coming up on your screens is a definition followed by four words is given in each of the following questions. The definition carries the meaning of one of the words. Find out the word and its number as the answer. So, yes, a polite word for something shocking. So, a definition is followed. The definition carries the meaning of one word. You have to find the meaning of that particular word. 
Yes, I already gave you a person who is courageous is the opposite. Yes, a polite word for something shocking, guys. 16. Yes, what is this the definition of? Yes, what is the answer, guys? Yes, polite word for something is known as euphemism. Yes, answer will be D, guys. D is the answer. Yes, so it is one of the figures of speech. Euphemism is one of the figures of speech. And it is important to know what this figure of speech means. And this figure of speech, euphemism, is the use of a less offensive word in place of an offensive one. So when somebody dies, you say he has passed away. Right? So you say he has passed away. So you are using a less offensive word in place of an offensive one. What is aphorism and what is flexus? Write down the meanings, guys. Flexus is a complex structure. A complex structure. Yes, and pleonasm, length of what? Uh, pleonasm is redundancy. Aphorism is a general truth. So therefore the answer is D guys, euphemism is the word, right? Okay, have you got all the meanings? I'm going to go to the next one. Yes, military activity of sending soldiers and to find out about the army's forces. What will be the answer to this? Yes, Avinash, correct answer. Yes, Somya Deep, correct. Uh, retribution means punishment, taking punishment or revenge. So, this cannot be the answer. Renaissance was a movement of the revival of art. Revival of art and culture in Europe in the 13th century. So this cannot be the answer. Answer is Reconnaissance. So when they go around looking at what is the area, what is the land, what is the army's forces, what is their strength, it is known as Reconnaissance. And it cannot be uh, readjustment. Right guys? Okay. Yes, going to 18th one, to be courageous and having the ability to keep calm in difficult situations. What will be the answer, guys? Yes. Yes, waiting for the correct answer to come up, guys. No, it is not. It is sang Freud. Sang Freud is the answer. It is a sense of calm, an ability to be balanced and calm. Yes. So, what is vapid mean? Vapid is something which is insipid, having no taste. Sanguinary relating to bloodshed. And Pleocene. What does Pleocene? Pleocene is a tertiary period marked by 
द साइज ऑफ द मैमल्स साइज ऑफ द मैमल्स राइट गाइज ऑफ दैट फाइन ओके ओके गोइंग टू द नाइनटीन वन द यूज ऑफ मोर वर्ड देन आर टू एक्सप्रेस एन आइडिया वॉट इज इट कॉल गाइज नाइनटीन वन सैंक्रॉइड मीन्स काम Yes, hi Sakshi. Yes, nineteenth one. The use of more words than are to express an idea is called. Yes, waiting for the answer, guys, to this one. answer is yes somya correct it will be pleonasm pleonasm is the answer which is correct yes this word has to be uh, what is known as explosive yes so what is explosive explosive is anything that that can burst and what is plectrum plectrum is to pluck on the strings of a guitar a plenty is a lot of something having an excess of something is known as a plenty right guys so the answer here will be b b is the correct answer yes so i'm going to a person who believes he is all powerful and wants to control other people's lives is known as question number 20 guys yes narcissist is a person who is in love with himself he is not a narcissist no a person who is very vain about his looks is known as a narcissist yes so what is the answer guys Yes, Shitesh, we will do para jumbles. Are you taking the exam this year or next year? Narcissist is a person who is vain about his looks. A person who is in love with his looks. Impulsive is doing things on the spur of the moment. Not even thinking is known as impulsive. And motivated is a person who is inspired. Right. Okay so we will do don't worry there is a lot of time shitesh shil yes okay concerned with practical ideas or views question number 21 concerned with practical ideas or views what will be the answer a person who is very practical ko kya bolte hain a practical person is orthodox no orthodox meaning traditional can be orthodox yes a means traditional pragmatic is practical Yes so what will be the answer guys 21 it will be pragmatic answer is b yes sensitive is a person who is very uh, touchy and apprehensive is a person who is very worried or anxious worried and anxious okay yes i'm going to go to the next one 22 showy but of little value what will be the answer something which is very showy but has no value like you know artificial gold yes what will be the answer guys 
Yes, Shibu, correct answer. Answer is D, not decorative. It has to have little value. So, answer is trumpetry. D is the answer, guys. Why? Because uh, trumpetry is a person who is boastful. Yes, it can't be decorative is not necessarily of little value. Luxurious is extravagant. Extrovert is a person who is very social. So, the answer will be trumpetry. D is the answer, so we are correct. Okay, next one. We have few more and we are done, guys. Coming to question number 23. Long-lasting, deep, bitter or ill will. What will be the answer to this one? Long-lasting, deep, bitter or ill will. Yes, what is the answer guys? C, no. Answer is rancor. Yes. Yes, rancor is deep bitterness or ill will. Grouse is any kind of nursing, any kind of hatred towards somebody. You have a grouse against somebody. Yes, empathy is to place yourself in another person's shoes. And feel the way they, they feel is known as empathy. So, you are feeling sympathy for somebody, you just feel pity for somebody. But empathy is when you place yourself in that person's position and feel the way he feels is known as empathy. Enormity is being very huge. Something big or is known as enormous or huge. Yes, 24. Very much concerned and anxious. What will be the answer, guys? 24. Yes, we have four more and we are done, guys. Empathy is not chemistry, Shibu. Not chemistry. Yes. Answer is solicitous, guys. D. Correct, Vishal. You are giving me the correct answer. Solicitous is a person who is very concerned and very anxious. While the word somewhere means being serious. Sorry. Answer to A is being serious. Conciliate means to pacify. Yes, impetuous is doing something on an impulse. So, doing things without thinking is known as impetuous. Right? So, the answer therefore is D, guys. Are you getting the answers? Are you writing down the answers? I want, you, I want to repeat them. Somber is being serious, conciliatory is to pacify, impetuous is to do things on an impulse and solicitous is a person who is very concerned and anxious. Very good. Okay, let's go to the next question. 25. A man who does not believe in the existence of God, who is he? Yes, this one you should know guys, all of you. A man who does not believe in the existence of God is? Yes, very good. Now this is the answer everyone knows. Right? C is the answer. So C is the answer. Correct. So atheist is a person who is a non-believer. Yes. Agnostic is a person who questions the existence of God. Agnostic is a person who questions the existence of God questions the existence of God. Is A. Ascetic is a person who is a, like a saint or a hermit. Right? Saint or hermit. He lives like a, like you say, Sadhu Mahatma. Yes. 
Yes, Shitesh. He questions whether God lives or not. And anarchist is a person who causes confusion, violence, or chaos. Right? Yes, guys. A government by... Yes, he has, I think, Prema. A government by officials. 26, guys. What is the answer? Yes, it will be bureaucracy, right? Yes, answer is definitely C. C is the answer, bureaucracy. Now, government by the rich. Plutocracy is the government by the rich. These are all ocracies. Ocracies is form of government. Oligarchy is a government by the few. Few people. And aristocracy is a government led by nobles. So, there you have all five forms of government. Bureaucracy is a government by officials. Plutocracy, Pluto meaning rich. Oligarchy is few and aristocracy is a government run by the nobles. Right? Okay. And we go to the next one. To do away with a law. What does it mean? To do away with a law, guys. To cancel a law. Yes, not an highlight. And highlight means to completely destroy. Yes, to completely destroy is an highlight. So it will not be D, guys. For law, you will say abrogate. Answer is A. A is the answer to abrogate a law. Yes, alienate is to separate. Aggravate is to make worse. Yes, the word aggravate is to make worse. So, you are making somebody very, very angry. Yes, Raja Babu, Shibu, Somya, all giving me correct answers. Answer is A, guys. Right? Okay. Abrogate a law is to repeal a law, to cancel a law. Aggravate is to make worse. Okay. A person capable of using both hands equally well is known as A person who can use both hands skillfully is known as? Yes, waiting for the answer to come from you guys. Correct, Shiddhij. Yes, it will be ambidextrous. Ambi means both dexterous is skillful. Amphibious is an animal which who lives on land and water. So, this is talking about an animal that lives on land and water. Ambiguous is two-sided. Right, same. Amphibian is also a mammal. Yes, here you are talking about amphibious means capable of living on land and water. Well, while amphibian is the mammal itself. Ambiguous, not dual character, having two sides. So, if there is a question which is a sentence which is giving you two meanings, you know, you say it is an ambiguous sentence. It has two meanings. That is known as ambiguous. Right? Right? Okay. 29, guys. A custom of a woman having many husbands. Yes, last two, two questions, guys, and we are done.
Yes, it is poly and re. Poly means many. Yes. Polygamy is many marriages. Bigamy is two marriages. You getting it, guys? Polygamy is many marriages. Gammy means marriage. Right? Many marriages. Bigamy is two marriages. Monogamy is one. But, but polyandry is the custom of a woman having many husbands. Right? And then we go to a person who easily believes whatever is told to him. What will be the answer, guys? Yes, Achal, you were confused. Yeah, I gave you the meanings of all the options now. Yes, a person who easily believes whatever is told to him is known as... Very good. Yes, Shibu is giving me the correct answer. Answer is credulous. Credulous is easily believing. Yes, the first one is a person who is fond of drinking. Fond of drinking is bibulous. Callous is a person who is very cruel. Malicious means ill will, hatred. Right, guys? Yes. So, also meaning spiteful. Yes, correct, Shidish. That is the correct representation of the word. Yes, guys. So, that was the last list of words. We were able to learn 30 slides with four words in each slide. So, that is a lot of words, right? Yes. Thank you, Sakshi. Thank you so much, guys. So, let me uh, end with this lesson. Yes, the verbal ability section is taken care of me in the morning, 9.30 to 10.30. It continues in the evening from 7 to 11. Yes, Somya, I will conduct the quiz now and I will put up the code in a minute. As soon as I go offline, I will do the code. Right, guys? So, download the Telegram app, livedaily.me slash chat and join the Telegram chat. The Unacademy subscription is the best in the industry. You have live classes, interact with the educator, live polls, test series, analysis, live dog clearing sessions. So, download the Unacademy learning app, install the app, go for the plus courses, guys, and get your subscription. The CAT subscription is the best in the industry. You just have to pay 1,458 for 12 months. 875 for 24 months. Haan, abhi shuru karenge 10 minute mein achal. 10 minute mein quiz shuru kar denge. And use call 10 guys in order to get a further 10% discount. Right guys, so whether you are doing need JE 9, 10th, 11th or 12th, please use my code. Yes. Yes, dekh sakte hai Akanksha. Kabhi bhi dekh sakte ho. And if you want to join the plus program, please use my code HK10. Yes, Shitej, we will start at 10.45. So, subscribe, like, share, hashtag cat live daily. Download the PDF, guys. Use code 10 in order to get a further 10% discount. And that is the end of today's class. Have a great day. Bye-bye. All the best.